Alright y'all, welcome back to Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee with Josh and Zach from the Shy Guys. We're having fun. There's another side deck, I'm getting it right now. <laughs> I'm battling a trainer. I need 50 Pokemon. That was a, I wasn't even trying to throw it right there. I, I brought the Joy-Con up so that I could bring it back down. And it, when I brought it up, it threw it. <laughs> and it was like a really short throw. Ooh, this guy's got an Onyx. So yeah, last episode we found, made our way to Cerulean City and went across the Nugget Bridge. And now we gotta make our way over to Bill's, Bill's house. And I need to catch 30, I mean 50 Pokemon to get Charmander. Yeah. I know you can find the, tr the starters in the wild, so I may just resort to doing that until I get closer to end game. Because mm -hmm. I mean, even when I play normal playthroughs, like not just let's go. Uh, I've always been wanting to only catch like limited number of Pokemon. Right. Like I've had multiple games where in the playthrough at least, like once playthroughs, while the playthrough is going on, I have... Oh, he just used Rage. Okay, that didn't do much. Okay. I got that confused with Dragon Rage. I was like, he's going to take 40 HP from me. <laughs> that would be bad. Yeah, I didn't have level. 40 HP at the time, so I was like, ooh. But uh... Like, you'll see in my playthroughs, I'll have, like, maybe fewer than, like, 20 Pokemon in my box. Because mm -hmm. um, I just don't... I'm not usually one to run, run around and catch a bunch of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure if... I just Vinonat. ran into a... Yeah, I just ran into a Vinonat. I don't think I've caught one yet. I haven't. Yeah, I don't think oh, I wow. <laughs> I just threw that, like, clear 100 yards over his head. <laughs> Yeah, apparently the different ways you swing your your Joy-Con will make it do different throws. Right. I was just trying to throw it and I hadn't hit the get ready yet. Hey, my Magikarp leveled up and Eevee's leveled up as well. Okay, I think I'm getting a little bit better at these throws now. I sort of understand better what's going on. Caught me a Venonat. Use a Raspberry. Get in there. And he, oh no, he he popped out. Next special defense. All right, local trainers come here to practice. Really, this one route? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I caught it in that. It's like in Pokemon Go, they just all. Congregate in one place. Per bird yeah. I like the Bird Keeper model, man. That's a cool model. Ooh, I haven't seen him yet. When you get to the route, like he's he's cool. Okay. Let's keep going. You know, I might oh, yeah, keep, I might keep Clefairy on my. Watch him when in battle, though. When he gets in battle, he looks really cool. He's got like a bird cage and everything. Okay. I might keep Clefairy on my team, because I always like having a fairy type on my team. And I don't think I've ever used Clefairy before. And Clefable's okay. buff. Yeah, he is. Clefable can hit, take some hits. That could be a pretty good addition to a team. Oh, and I apparently learned that um, your starter doesn't have to stay on your team. Okay. Like your Pikachu or your Eevee. But it will stay with you if you if you take it off the team. Oh, okay. No, oh, I'm getting sand attacked by a Pidgeotto. I beat him in one hit with Zippy Zap. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you do that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have your fancy electric type moves. Oh, Pidgey's evolving. There we go. All I needed to do was hit him twice, and I went like seven turns just trying to hit him twice. Yep. Sand attack is the worst. Mm-hmm. Did I tell you the time that I beat um, a gym using sand attack? No. I was facing Fantina in in Platinum. I was massively under level, didn't have any way to fight ghost types. And I beat it with a sand attack Eevee. Nice. 
Because <laughs> Eevee, Eevee couldn't hit it, but it couldn't hit me. Right. And I saw I sand attacked it, and I had one Pokemon still alive, but it was very, very low on health and I didn't have potions, because I was stupid. And so I sand attacked it to death with Eevee until it couldn't do anything else. And then threw in the one Pokemon and hit it. Uh huh. Because all it needed, it, it needed to hit, it hit it a couple times. Um. To uh, benefit, or for, for to not die, you know. Mm -hmm. It couldn't kill the Gengar. It was a, either a Hound or a Gengar. It couldn't kill it in one hit. Um. But uh, it could kill me in one hit. Yep. So I was like, all right, the sand attack strat's gonna have to just do and hope that it doesn't hit me. <laughs> and it worked. Yep. That uh, that kind of reminds me of the mystery dungeon games. In the first mystery dungeon game. One of, one of the first bosses you fight is Moltres, and this actually, I guess this actually worked for all of the bosses, especially early on in the game. But I remember uh, using it against Moltres this strategy. And uh, if you're a Cyndaquil in Mystery Dungeon, you can learn Smoke Screen, and mm -hmm. that is so overpowered. And those are really tough boss battles. Actually, there are some pretty tough boss battles in Mystery in the original Mystery Dungeons, and uh, you can use Smoke Screen to kind of cheese your way through the through the boss battle and it's actually a pretty good way of doing it nice I'd, I'd love to go back and play those games sometime soon yeah that'd be cool super potion I need that oh my uh, the Nidoran got uh, the trainer got stuck between me and the Nidoran mm -hmm. and so the Nidoran is just trying to run toward me and it can't because there's it's I'm I'm being blocked by the trainer mm-hmm it's like, come on, I need, and I'm trying to get to you, but I can't. <laughs> it was just constantly Rattata. running. Putting my Rattata in against this guy's Rattata. Healing up a little bit. Alright, Rattata needs some love, so let me put Rattata in front. Ooh, that was good. Quick attack and give me the win. Nice. Dad took me to a great party held on the SSN in Vermilion's port. It was fun. Good job, kid. Maybe, maybe we should go there sometime. Yeah. Youngster Dan. Oh, Cocoon is evolving. They missed an opportunity here. They could have made this a bug catcher. Who? This kid's named Dan. Oh. Bug you catcher know, Dan. Yeah, that would be nice. I got a Beedrill. You got a Beedrill? Uh huh. Is your Kakuna evolve? Yeah. Uh huh. Feel like me, you just said that, but I, I missed it. I did. <laughs> Alrighty. I was thinking about Bug Catcher Dan. <laughs> I'm gonna switch Beedrill out for someone else now. Let's see here. Rattata! I'm gonna put Oddish back on my team. Yeah. There's a trade in this game for Alolan Rattata, or Alolan um, Raichu. I am so down for that. That would, I would like to have an Alolan Raichu. I know he's one of your favorites. Yeah. Of all the Alolans, he's definitely my favorite. Yeah. I want to get a. Uh, who do I want to get in here? I'm not sure. I want. I want my Gen 3 starters in this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait till I do a Let's Go to Hoenn. Right. Which might be six I years from now, but. Yeah. But I will definitely be playing with Trico. Gen 3 just has all three Gen 3 starters are my favorite starters. I'm off to see that Pokemon fanatic guy at the Cape. At the Cape. Wearing a cape. Uh -huh. Hiker Knob. His name is Knob. Knob? Yeah. That's not a real name. No. What a knob. It's like N-O-B too. It's not even like knob like a doorknob. It sounds like an insult. Hey, yeah, I knob. think it is in some languages. <laughs> or some, not necessarily languages. Some uh, regions of the world that speak English. Yeah. Maybe Britain. I don't know. I don't know culture. 
He's biting. Uh -oh. Geo dude's got some bite going. Do as much damage to him as you can without killing him. All right. I plan on one shotting him, but oh, okay. he has sturdy. Oh no, there's no abilities. He just lived. How did he do that? He unleashed his energy. Do? That might be bad. Oh well, there's another point. Hey. Ugh. I've been doing good about not losing points. That wasn't good though. All right, Nidoran. Time to uh, take this guy on. Or an attack of space. I thought I would kill him in one hit with my my vine whip. So I was like, oh, bye. Doesn't matter. And I got him down to like one. Forgot that there's no sturdy in this game, but I was right. like, you've got sturdy, right? Like, there's, right. there's no reason he should have lived that. And then he just bited my face. <laughs> I'm gonna horn attack this Machop. There's a lot of trainers on this route. Picnic or Kelsey? Yeah, there are. Oh, I wish I had Bulbasaur out for this Goldie. This thing's trying to low kick my Nidoran. Don't that's not gonna work, dude. <laughs> I resist fighting. Phew. No yawning, it's not allowed. No yawning? No. <laughs> Alright, goodbye my chop. You have now fainted. Okay, I want this guy to come towards me. Hiker knob is dead. No, he's not dead. He's Pokemon. There we go. I need to revive my Pokemon. So he's a camper and she's a picnicker is what's happening. Yeah. Camper Dustin. Camper Dustin has a Squirtle. Right. And I won. Revive Sprouty. Sorry, Sprouty, I didn't think that that bide would, would do that much. Alright, that is pretty cool. I am going to switch Pikachu out from the starter right here. My boyfriend's a camper. You're like as old as I am. How can you have a boyfriend? <laughs> Picnic or Kelsey. You're like 10. <laughs> Let me put, uh... Yeah, let me put Pidgeotto in first. Thunder Wave TM. Nice. Quick attack. An Aether. Okay. Hello there. You want to battle me? Yep. I'm nearly to the end of this route. There have been a lot of trainers here. Last Haley. Say now, Oddish. Oh, Vertatus tra uh, tra uh, tra uh, traded. So I guess boosted experience. Oh, yeah. I didn't think Forgot about, about that. that. One shot the Oddish. No. That one last was like, uh,. She's a she's a picnicker that's got a camper as a boyfriend, and this other guy's like, I'm a camper that's got a picnicker as a girlfriend. Something tells me. Using a little bit of deduction, I can confirm that they don't even know each other. Yes. <laughs> so that's what I was exactly what I was thinking. Yes. Bubble from the Squirtle. Don't you dare bubble my face. How dare you. Yeah, I really like that quick attack animation. Mm -hmm. It is really cool. Nancy grew to level 20. Sprouty's at level 16. Sprouty wants to learn sleep powder. Uh, yeah, we could do that. Let's Sounds get rid good. of rap. I don't like rap. Never been a fan of rap. Yeah, me neither. Will you learn poison powder as well? Nope. No, that's not what I want. 
medicine. There we go. Can I squeeze past you? Nope, I got a need to cut. Ether! Okay. Fisherman battle time. Let's heal up Rattata a little bit. That was a funny position that the fisherman was in. He's got a magic heart. I wouldn't have guessed anything differently. <laughs> Vine ba, 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 da, ba, 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 Can you guess ba, what move ba, Magikarp ba, used? Ba, ba. Bounce. Tackle. Nope. Slash. Yes. <laughs> I said slash. Oh, you said flash? Splash. No. He's, he's splash. I was about to say uh, Hyper Beam. That would be something. And the Krabby. And battling an Onish with a, with a Rattata. And get dead. No? That didn't do too much. Are there any natural dark types in Gen 1? Just pure dark type? Well, just like naturally, like, like not Alolans. Oh, wait. Right, because Dark Type wasn't introduced yet. Yeah, and they came out in Gen 2, and they didn't really go back and adjust Modify. a lot of... Modify. Yeah, they didn't, like they did with like Fairy Type. Right. I guess not. I guess Alolan or Tata might be the only Dark Type you can get in this game. Hmm. That's strange. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he's learning Super Fang right now, my Rattata is. Get rid and of you, you've been you've been running past me with these like leveling up stuff. A little bit. I beat Fisherman Wayne. I just beat Haley. I'm jealous. I'm not jealous at all. She says that with like a disgusted face. Something tells me you actually yeah. are jealous. Hey, there's a coach trainer. I've got Fisherman. What do we have here? I found another lure. Fisherman Wayne. He's got an interesting face. Mm -hmm. Match car. Something tells me this one's gonna use Hyper Beam. Okay, I'm gonna start off with Pidgeotto. Splash. This area is popular for dates. I'm a proudly independent coach trainer at a date spot. I'll let you know I'm pretty strong. Want me to battle you? Yeah, let's do it. I'll give you a real workout. Okay. Who you got? Coach Trainer Amala. Send out Machop. Oh. Perfect, because I have Pidgeotto. Tata's at level 15. Wants to learn Super Fang. Is that good? Hey. Super Fang is pretty good. I'm sorry, quite as, I don't think it's quite as good as Hyper Fang. Yeah, I'll get rid of Tail Whip, though. Well, Chop just used Seismic Talk on me. That was neat. And I won. That was an easy coach trainer. Yeah. A lot easier than the Bulbasaur one. The Bulbasaur one was the toughest. Yeah, Bulbasaur was still was pretty tough. Crabby. I need... Let's go ahead and switch to Sprout. Wait, well, I haven't had fun like that in a long time. Here, take this. TM-15 Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss. It deals damage equal to the level of the Pokemon that uses the move. So right now, it's useless. Right. <laughs> okay, I am ready to go in this house. It really won't even be useful until you get, like, around 100. Mm-hmm. And at that point, there's probably better options. Yeah. Eevee wants to learn Bite. Bye bye. There's a Nidorino in Bill's house. 60. We'll get rid of Double Kick. Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, no, I mean, I'm Bill. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemon fanatic. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out of here? Hey, Nidoran's evolving. Hey, nice. 
I guess I'll help him out of here. I'm gonna climb inside the teleporter, so you run the cell separation system for me. Yes, because I know how to do that. Nidorino. <laughs> you can do it from that PC over there. You're gonna do it for me, right? Don't leave me hanging. I'm counting on you, pal. Okay. Sure thing, there Bill. There we go. What do we have over here first, though? Anything? That's a good buff. I need a, I need a, need a Nidorino. Hey, I found the trainer. And the lure. Nice. I like lures. Mm -hmm. I haven't really made any use of them yet, but... The screen says something about a teleporter. Whoa, I should get in there. Don't mess this up, okay? Okay, well, you haven't explained to me what I should do, but apparently I'm a some kind of genius that just knows everything. You started up the cell separation system on the teleporter. Okay. Nidorino has found a raspberry. Good job, Nidorino. Ooh, I've got a cool cutscene right here. Alright, let's go to Bill's house. Actually, no, let's fight the, the person first. Coach trainer. There is Bill himself. What's up, Bill? Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. I owe you one. Hey, you've got your Pokemon box right there in your bag. Good job. If you ever catch too many Pokemon and your box gets full, send some of those Pokemon to Professor Oak. I bet he'd be mighty thankful. Oh, look at me. I forgot my own head if it weren't attached. I should do something to thank you, too. You did save me, after all. Here, maybe this will do. SS tickets from Bill. You know, I just sent in a normal dark type onto a fighting type. Ooh, that's not great. Yeah, I don't think so. Four times bad, actually. Yeah. That cruise ship, the SS Ann, pulls into port in Vermilion City. They invited me to do some party on board, but I can't stand fancy gatherings. Why don't you go instead of me? There are a couple of tickets in there, so have some fun with a friend or something. Seismic toss. Okay. Thanks, Bill. That's a heck of an animation. Holy cow. Yeah, it is. Throws you right up into space. Yep. Okay, I'm out of here, Bill. Oh, that... Don't... Don't kill Nidorino. Don't do it. Uh, oh, that's close. Whew. I need to heal up. Oh. Found three Nanab berries. There were a ton of trainers on that route. I'm just running past them all. Mm -hmm. There are a bunch, bunch of them. Yeah, uh oh, Bulbasaur found something. Let me guess, it's a Raz. Um, I'm trying to grab it, but okay. There we go. It is a raspberry. <laughs> This seismic toss thing. Second to grab it. Goodness. I don't have anything to fight this. Do you have a bird flying type? You don't have not, a not with me. I put PG in my box for Rattata. Probably Bulbasaur not a good decision at this point. Do what? Bulbasaur found something else. It is a pretty wing. Oh! This guy is just like pounding all of my Pokemon with Seismic Toss. <laughs> yeah, and Eevees can't help you out too much because it's normal. Time. Yeah. I got an idea. I want this Charmander. I'm gonna try and catch him few more Pokemon around here. Okay, that doesn't do it near as much as I thought it would. Alright, I want to use this X defense on my Clefairy. Okay. Alright, so that should do nothing now. Oh! Why does that do so much? Isn't it because it's does the, the seismic toss damage? Does, no does it ignore what? stat boosts? I'm not sure. So that did like that actually looked like it did more. Hmm. 
Come here, Oddish. What was that? Okay. There we go. This is Here's a great turn. Good. Get in the ball, Oddish. Don't mind me, I'm just over here struggling with my chop with seismic toss. <laughs> oh, Bulbasaur leveled up to 16. Nice. Evolution time. I got an idea, but I gotta get a clean switch in. And I don't wanna do a clean switch in because that means I have to faint something. I'm just gonna have to pound it with its face with my head butt. <laughs> mm, seismic toss does so much. Yeah, this is not good. I might my have to stomach. take another point. Uh oh. My stomach just growled. I hope it did. Uh, <laughs> pick up on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm switching to Sprouty. Okay. I gotta sleep powder it. I have seen Uncle Fairy, but that's not that's too risky. Yeah. Sleep powder is way more accurate. And and poison resist fighting. So Alright, this doesn't do as near as much with Alright, Bell Sprout. Sprouty, you gotta do this, buddy. Put it to sleep. There you go. These coach trainers are no joke. Yeah. When you're, tr when you're trying not to, like, faint things. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alright. There we go. All I had to do was get Bell Sprout in, but that was tricky. I'm just All over right. here catching Psyduck. Am I the one who was coached? $1,600 though. Nice. And Seismic Toss. I want to see what learns that. That might be useful. Well, not right now. Alright, time to do the bill thing. I may start up a Psyduck combo right here. Yeah, come here, Sada. Need Reno. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it stands up. <laughs> That's so weird looking. I know, I know. He stands up on his <laughs> back legs. I'm skipping all this conversation just because I got so distracted by his standing up. <laughs> I already know what I gotta do anyway because I heard you say it. Right, but right. Still. <laughs> Don't worry, Bill. I'll, I'll save you, but let me pet Evie first. <laughs> Evie wanted petting right now. Let's see if I can get this Charmander yet. I am interested. Give it, to, give it to me. Maybe got another raise level up. Nice. I have yet to catch 50 Pokemon. Don't mess up, okay? I will not. I am suddenly a scientist that understands cellular separation. Right. <laughs> I like this little cutscene. Yeah, it's a pretty neat cutscene. Where's the, where the side eggs at? There's one. And it's Bill! Hey. You know, I don't think I've ever seen official art of Bill before. I, huh. like, the, I like his design. Yeah. Yeehaw! Thanks, bud. Oh, you won. <laughs> okay, I've got a four side art combo going on. Hey, give me the SS tickets. Mm -hmm. I forgot he did that. 
Thank you, Bill. Time for me to head back home now. Get in there, Sida. Ah, uh, he popped out. Okie dokie. Evie's happy to have played with a bunch with Nidorino. Cool. Okay, get in the ball, Sida. I got an excellent throw on him a second ago when he popped out. There we go. I'm playing high five with Evie. Oh yeah, I did that with Pikachu. Oh yeah, I'll learn Razor Leaf on Oddish. There we go. Eevee's really cute. I like Eevee. <laughs> oh, it looks like Eevee has a present for me. What'd you just give me? Stretchy Spring. I don't know what that's for. Really? Hey, just give me a Stretchy Spring. I don't know what that is, though. Hmm. Let me look at the menu for that. Look at my box. Stretchy Spring. What is this? There's nothing. What it's used for is unknown. Alright. Well, I guess that's useful somewhere out in the future. Stretchy spring. I don't know what that would be for. Yeah. The description doesn't really tell me anything. Uh-huh. Nina Reno can't learn Seismitoss? Dang it. Alright, side up. Get in the ball. What? This side up is being problematic. Get in there. Alright, I'm running back to Cerulean. I, mean, I guess we could end the episode there. Okay. I call it the side up. Alright, I am in the Poke Center. Okay. I suppose I will let you take it out. Alright. Guys, if you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. And uh, make sure you keep checking back. We have episodes coming out every single day of the week. Except for Sunday, because Sunday we do sleep. Um, right. And, uh, yeah, guys, if you haven't subscribed already, then please be sure to do so. And check us out on social media at Couple Shot Guys. We do a bunch of stuff on social media, posting things mm -hmm. there almost daily. And, uh, yeah, and check us out on Twitter especially because Twitter is more fun. Yes. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Goodbye.